Welcome back, everyone. The video you're about to watch is part of a live stream series that I do on Twitch where I teach people how to build an Android app from start to finish by building a task management application. I've removed the episode numbers from the videos because it's designed that each one can be consumed individually. Each week, I pick a particular topic or feature and focus on just that for the live stream. If you are interested in watching the full playlist, check out the links in the description below. But if you just found this one and it intrigues you, I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think. Um, so, ooh, this is, this is new. I've never seen the pull request link on the issues page like this. That is very cool. Um, so let's talk about this one. Focus description automatically on task input. Um, I'm just going to branch off from the same one. PUA 123, focus, input on add task. So let's, let's Google this, see if this is um, something someone has looked up for. So what do we want to do? Focus, text field, when screen opens, jetpack composed. See if someone has asked like a... Okay, so here's a question on requesting focus. Um, okay. Um, oh, sorry, I was reading the comments. So it sounds like we could, um, we just create a focus requester and then we have a sort of launched effect that says, um, you know, focus requester dot request focus, which I guess is something I've seen before, but I didn't realize it might be as simple as just doing a sort of launched effect there. Um, okay, maybe it's that simple. Uh, let's... Um, okay, let's see what we have to do to test this. So first things first, um, let's look at our TOA text field real quick. This is our custom composable for a text input. Um, I want to see if we do anything with focus. We don't. These are all colors. Um, okay. So... I don't want to put the launched effect that I mentioned right inside this composable because this is used anywhere our application consumes text. And let me recap, by the way, for anyone who didn't see the beginning of the stream. What I want to do here, when I go to add a task, nothing is auto-focused here. But every time I open this screen, I want to click on this to start saying, you know, here's something I need to do. And it feels like an extra step to have to tap on that description when in this screen, there's unlikely for me to take any other action. In fact, I can't. If I just tried to submit this right away, I would get an error. So I want to autofocus this input when this screen comes up. But I don't want to put that logic wholly and entirely... Um, inside this text field because not every text field should request focus right away. So what I think I'll do is allow the user to pass in a focus requester. But we could default... Is it... Well, how do we create one? But we could just create one as a default. Um, do I need to remember here, or can I just do that? That might be enough. Um, and then, why does it keep going around? And then, in our text field, where we pass in the modifier to this, we can also pass in that focus requester we created. Um, so yeah, that's it at a minimum. Um, 
That's it for the text field portion. So now we need to talk about where we want to manage this focus requester, which is on our add task content. So here, this is our add task. Uh, let's go all the way up to the top. Um, then we have like our inputs column. Maybe we can put it in here. Um, yeah, this is where we put all the inputs. So, but I wonder if I should put it at the screen level. Sorry, that's what I'm, I'm thinking about where I want to have it live. Let's put it at the screen level um, or at like the root content level and we'll pass it down into everything that needs it. So we'll create our focus requester. And we'll do exactly what the Stack Overflow post said, which is we can just do a launched effect and we could pass the key as um, unit, which basically tells it to run once. A launched effect, I think, whenever the key changes, runs again. Um, but we don't want that. In addition to unit, I think you could just do like launched effect true is also a way to say like this should only run once. But then we do focus requester dot request focus. Uh, and let's rename this to be even more specific. Let's call this description focus requester. So now that we have this, we need to pass that down into our composable to the actual text field. So it's going to go into our um, inputs column. Whoops. So here, this should now consume a description focus requester. And that should go into our task description input. So focus requester being description focus requester. Let's update this. So this consumes a focus requester and we pass that into our text field. Uh, so there's a lot of steps of a lot of layers there, but I think that's it. Oh, and I'm running my test instead of the app code. Whoops. Well, we'll wait for our test to run. Um, let's check on GitHub and make sure that, why does that keep happening? Um, this seems to be running fine. Ooh, we have a lot of updates. Um, oh, I think we've known that there's a composed version bump we could make. Um, Maybe we'll make that after this. So, sorry, we gotta wait for these tests to run because I didn't realize that was the uh, build config that was selected. I, actually, can I just stop it? All right, I can just stop it. Nice, okay, so fingers crossed. When we click this button, our um, description field should be focused and the keyboard should come up. Nice. Let's go. Um, and then we can submit. Awesome. I love it. Let's, huge win. Let's add some comments here um, that I think could be helpful to future people. Let's throw in um, an optional focus requester that allows the caller to control the focus state of this text field. And inside our, when do you write tests? Good question. Um, in this like live stream kind of whenever um i try to do them each stream but it depends on the work it's a lot easier to write them for uh the sort of standard kotlin classes that it is some of this ui code like i don't know i wonder let's find out if we can write a test for this it might be possible um 
Let's let's find out. Let's write some comments here, and then we'll try real quick. Uh, let's also add a note here. So when the add task screen is first created, we want to focus on the description input so the user can begin typing right away. Uh, let's go into our stream history file real quick, because it's going to come in here. Uh, description, input, focus. Uh, here, autofocus, description, on add task screen. That's what's happening here. Um, OK, let's commit that. And we might be able to write a test for this, actually. So autofocusing on description input. So I think we already have an add task content test file. And this shows how uh, rendering invalid input messages is the one test we have already. Um, we're not going to do that. Let's write a new test. And let's call this um, oh, render initial view state. That's what we can say here. Um, so what is our view state? We're going to have an add path view state. Um, where's my keyboard? Oh, because is this a sealed class? God dang it. OK, it is. That's why. We're going to render that initial view state. Let's do compose test rule dot set content, add task content. Uh, view state is view state. Um, and then for these callbacks, we're just going to pass um, empty values because we don't we don't care about them for this test. We just want the test rendering some information. Uh, let's clear this. Sorry, so this is a little easier to read. Um, so we render this. And I think what we want to assert is that our description input field got focus. So um, let us go into the content real quick. Um, into this description field. Let's throw a modifier, a test tag modifier on this. Add task description input. Um, let's even make this a constant so it's easier to reference. Description input tag. So a test tag, if y'all aren't familiar with it in Jetpack Compose, is basically uh, a formal way of putting an identifier on a composable so that it becomes much easier to reference that entity in your test. So here, we're going to get a reference to our Compose test rule. We're going to do on node with tag, um, add task description input tag. And then we're going to say assert is focused. Nice, there's already a matcher in there for us. So this should render the screen with that initial state and allow us to assert that our input field is indeed focused. And this is great. Now we'll know if there's ever any sort of regression around this. Thanks for the call out. And on the next pull request that I make, I'm going to write the test first. We'll do TDD for the next one. Which is going to be what? I don't know. Why does that keep happening? Why does my Mac want to keep sliding over and not focus this Chrome window? Um, we'll work on auto-populating a date, which could be an interesting test case, actually. That might be hard to test. Um, so it'll be a good one. Um, okay, but our test passed, so we can say adding test. 
and we will get the pull request going for this in just a moment. Um, I like it. We are cruising today. Um, that's done. Maybe I'm going to full screen this to see if it's less likely to keep switching on me. Um, ooh, this is this is now done. So let's close that old pull request first. Um, fixes number well, two six. So that little hack is what's going to close the issue for me automatically. Um, at least it should. We can check later. But now we can go back to pull requests and we can add this. So I'm going to have merge conflict. That's fine. Um, auto focus. Um, description on add task screen. We can say this fixes number 123. Give it an enhancement label. I like using the project still. Let's throw this on task management. Um, yeah, create a pull request. So I think the merge conflict this is going to tell me about is that markdown file. We can resolve that right in GitHub. Um, easy stuff. Mark is resolved. I hope that actually commit it says out of date. It should have worked. Nice. Okay, so while that's running, we can um, we can start working on the next one.